Do you believe the moon impacts deer movement? We're talking with Ryan Springer, who's been on Whitetail Cribs, the Exodus podcast a couple times, and a very experienced whitetail hunter on how he uses the moon to anticipate deer movement. And if you don't believe it, he challenges you to pay attention to these things. I hope you guys enjoy this. Here we go. Gosh, there's a lot of opinions about this, and there's a lot of there's a lot of charged opinions. We're talking about the moon here. Talk about just the moon in general and how it plays into a factor of how you hunt and what you've learned over the years in association to it. I started, I would say, probably 12 to 14 years ago. You know, I started hearing about the moon, and I, you know, whenever I hear a theory um, on something, I either like to you prove it right or prove it wrong, right? So, so at that point, I, I said, you know what? I keep hearing stuff about this moon, um, and I know just enough that you know I would go drive around in the evenings with a friend. You know, we go look for deer, right? And some evenings we would go out and we would see literally a hundred deer, you know, in, in a matter of that gray light, you know, that, that perfect time. You know, you'd see a hundred deer in all these different fields. Other nights you'd go out there and you'd see seven. And I'm thinking, well, how does the deer here know what the deer there knows? You know what I mean? Why are they not out? So, I mean, just that basic observation started making me say something, you know, is making these deer act, you know, in a certain way. So I thought, well, maybe it's the moon. You know, I start hearing stuff about the moon. So I kind of focused on that. Um, I dove in, you know, at the time I ordered some, uh, I don't know if they were VCR tapes, whatever they were, you know, DVDs, you know um jeff jeff murray he was the the big moon guy at the time you know i got his book read it you know got his charts you know and so and i'm fortunate enough in my job that i do quite a bit of driving throughout the day you know and i'm driving anywhere in southern ohio right um so and i get to talk to a lot of different people and hunters down there um but as i'm driving you know i get a lot of road time i get to see you know like, why will I drive middle of the day and all of a sudden I'm starting to see deer? I see a couple here and a couple here and a couple there. You know, other days I'm driving middle of the day, I'm not seeing anything. You know, so I started putting the charts on the seat beside me, you know, and just kind of trying to, you know, say, should they be out? Does is, is that agree with these? You know, so my goal was to kind of prove them wrong. I ended up proving them right, you know, and then it became kind of a, a predictable thing where it's like, you know, I can determine, um, I can determine, you know, when these animals, you know, are going to be out based on, you know, the moon. And it started becoming kind of easy. And at this point, this many years later, it's just like, you know, I, I have my 12 year old son. He's he's starting to hunt with me, you know, and he uh, and I'll say we're driving around, you know, hey, there's deer out it's the middle of the day. Where should the moon be? You know what I mean? And he's starting to pick up on it. So, I mean, it's 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 nice when you can actually, you know, make something predictable. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's so interesting because there's some some really successful hunters that say the moon doesn't matter and then there's people that that believe so firmly in it so when let's say someone wants to do something like what you've been doing of trying to prove it wrong or prove it right what right. are what's some like just 101 level things that people need to jot down right now to to see if they see what you see right yeah so you know i think going back to drive around some evenings, you know, just go look at the local fields. You've probably experienced it, Jake, where you go out, and, you know, and there's some nights there's just deer everywhere. Other nights there's not, you know, um, not everybody can drive in the middle of the day, you know, but if you're fortunate enough to start looking at that, you know, and start seeing when you're seeing deer out there. Um, I can tell you, you know, the basics, um, you know, I had a group of um, hunters some years ago, they wanted to come up and do a little scouting in this area that they were going to be hunting in the fall. And I said, they said, when do we need to come up? And I said, well, look for um, August, you know, let's go out August, you know, cause they've got some, you know, headgear at that point. Um, let's go August. And I said, let's look at the quarter moon phase, you know? So boom, we said, and it ha happened to be perfectly on a weekend, you know? So they came up on that quarter moon phase. We drove around and they saw, it was unbelievable. You know, I don't know how many booners we saw that night, but I mean, it was just, you know, it was, it was the perfect evening. You know, we, the weather was fine. It was a cool evening, but the quarter moon phase, they were all out in the bean fields, alfalfa fields eating like crazy. We just drove, you know, a whole bunch of areas and looked. Um, so, you know, start looking at that kind of stuff and, and go drive around on a quarter moon phase, go drive around on a full moon and see what the difference is. I guarantee mm -hmm. you'll see a difference. And so if you had, so quarter moon, is that one of your favorite moons to hunt then? Um, if I'm, well, I, I like them all, right? Because you got to <laughs> hunt them all. So I try not to have a favorite. I try to say when it's quarter moon phase, how do I hunt it? When it's new moon phase, how do I hunt it? When it's full moon, how do I hunt it? Right. Because you got to be able to hunt across the spectrum. Right. So quarter moon phase, 
I'm focusing on a field edge, right? Transition zone between bedding and feeding. And I'm going to be real close to a food edge, your field edge, you know, food source, basically Mm -hmm. um, morning and evening. You know, that's that's where I'm after where, you know, basically full moon or new moon. Right. That's where I'm going to be hunting real close to their bedroom. Right. I'm going to be as close as I can get without bumping them. And I'm going to be looking for midday movement. Right. That's Mm -hmm. that's what I'm focused on there. Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty, that's a pretty easy way to just break that down for folks to, to put that strategy into place. And so out of the bucks you've killed, is there a moon that has been most productive for you? I would say no, because most of my deer are shot a rut, right? That's, that's where I'm after now, you know, so I'm not necessarily, um, I'm pretty fortunate enough to get a lot of them right in a rut, right? So I don't have to hunt the full four months of season that Ohio has to offer, right? One now, if I do, yeah, I'll have some years, you know, where I will, but I know that based on when I'm going to go hunting and where the moon is, I know where I need to be hunting. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, like which stand location kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the, what would you say to someone? Cause there's, uh, I just had Dr. Bronson Strickland on, like I said, we we're talking about here previously. He, the, he says that the research shows that the moon doesn't impact deer movement, according to GPS collar data. Right. What would you, what would you say to that? You know, science is science and I believe science. Don't get me wrong. Um, go drive around on a quarter moon phase and look at the deer and the outbound. Yeah. Go drive uh-huh. around the full moon and look at it or the new moon. You know what I mean? If you, you, yeah. can, you can visually go see it. I mean, my 12 year old can put some, you know, consistency to it, you know? So that's, that's what all, all I'm saying is I notice patterns, you know, I've tried to patterns, you know, I try to follow patterns, you know, everything I do, you know, like whether it's elk hunting or deer hunting, I try to look for patterns, you know, consistency is the bottom line. Um, that's my engineering mind, you know, things need to be consistent. And so consistency is patterns, right? And if it's something that's repeatable and something that's predictable, you know, it gives me an advantage. So that's what I'm always after. But, you know, I would just encourage the listeners to go out, you know, spend a little time looking at this kind of stuff um, and, you know, come up with your own theory, you know, Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, this is what I've seen. Well, and I think that brings up a, a fantastic point. And it seems that some of the most successful hunters are good at predicting versus reacting if that makes sense. That's Meaning, a great point. Yeah. They're able to predict what's going to happen versus like, Oh, it happened. All right. Now I need to go figure out how to kill the deer. Well, you already missed that narrow window of opportunity. Sure. Absolutely. You know, I, I, I schedule my elk hunts, you know, a year in advance based on the moon phase. It's the, you know, and it's, it, it plays out. I mean, um, so I can see a lot of consistencies, you know, that, that things that I can show, um, bottom line is, you know, last year we were out and, and I said that last week of September is going to be hot. I unfortunately had to go home, but I was tagged out. So that's okay. I had a group, they stayed the last week was amazing. You know, this year, the middle two weeks of September were going to be hot. And sure enough, they were, you know, that third week they stayed for the third week. It was slow, you know, and it was supposed to be slow. So, you know, when I can see things like that, I mean, it's, it's hard to, you know, hard for me to argue with it. You know, it works for me, bottom line. Yeah. Well, and another point to that too, is you're, you're hunting all, you're hunting all of them. So there's not really a bias. Cause I could see people like, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTube comments in my day and people will say, well, yeah, of course you kill a big buck on whatever moon is. Cause that's the only moon you hunt where really? you're, you're, I don't know, you're hunting all of them. So, and you're changing Absolutely. your strategy based off of what's going on. Sure. Yeah. It just, the moon tells me where the animal's going to be during legal shooting light. Right. That's, that's the way I use it. I mean, um, that's, that's the key. Am I hunting the field edge in the evening or am I hunting the bedroom? 